Alan, welcome back to Etec Hunting. We've got a beautiful sunny day out here today. We've got the FX Crown GRS Mark II. We've got 26 grain javelins. So sit back and enjoy. Today we're going to shoot the 26 grain javelin, the dot .218 out of the 600 mm Crown Mark II. This is the GRS version with the GRS stock on there. Very nice stock. I'll show you a little bit more about that later. And quickly just make sure that the gun is on on speed so this is a nice middleweight slug not too heavy not too light just right in the middle there so if you're looking for a little bit of efficiency but also a little bit of power this is a perfect choice first up as always we're just going to test the speed quickly We've got the little mini chronograph here from fx a little small one with its companion screen I'm going to slap that on there as easy as that and just quickly see if the gun is shooting at the speed I want it to shoot. 9.45, so that is perfect. Let's continue. Right, so it's time to head out. We've got the gun all zeroed, set up, check the speed. Shooting the 26 grain javelins. And uh, we've got some targets in sight. So let's go. Yeah, this should be fine. Nice pop, 53 meters. Maggie's first shot is a solid impact and she takes him down with ease. Nice. Okay, there's <laughs> another one on the roof. Go for it. <laughs> oh, that's like... He's down. Necked but down. Yeah, it's probably neck or head. As expected, this was indeed a neck shot and he flaps down to the ground. There's a slight breeze in the air. So we're shooting 26 grain slug, so I don't think it'll do much. But as it gets stronger, we might have to hold for wind a bit. So, okay, so I've got one on that side. <laughs> that should be okay. Nice shot. Down he goes. 66 meters. Another solid impact right through the spine and he drops like a brick. Okay, I'm just going to move around the corner here. Grab the range finder. There's one on the roof now. Ah, now it's gone that side, so I have to go back to the side. Nice in the mud. Yeah, this should work. This one is at 62 meters. So we're gonna go a little less. Put on 62. The can right. Dead on the spot. Nice. <laughs> Exactly the same impact as the previous shot and this one expires on the roof. So nice to shoot the 26 grains again because yeah, the knockdown power is incredible. <laughs> okay, now it's time for Maggie again. So I'm going to hand the gun over to her and I'm going to take the camera. There's your bag. <laughs> and off we go again. Take note on how Maggie swings the gun over her shoulder. Perfect way to carry this gun. Right, I think we found one. We just flew over here, so it must be in that tree somewhere. Yeah, I think I can see him. Maggie then quickly takes the bag off her shoulder and position it on a nearby pole. Ooh, pop it! <laughs> wow, that was an awesome shot. <laughs> At 88 meters. Maggie pulls off an awesome shot and this 26 grain hits him like a tank. Okay, I just handed the camera to Maggie because I spotted another dove. But I'm going to have to move down here quickly. Mm. Ooh, nice and loud cut. 36 meters. Oh, love to shoot the 26 grains, especially out of this crown. Just works perfectly. 
this dove gets completely destroyed and you can see all the feet he's been eating flying everywhere right we got a starling at 61 <laughs> he's dead <laughs> awesome 61 meters this is definitely my favorite shot for the day. It hits him right in the head and he starts rolling down the roof. I can't ask for anything better. And on top of that, it's a starling. So we're getting way more success if we just move around because obviously these 26 grains hit very hard. They, they make quite a noise on impact and then everything moves around the corner again. So what we're doing is just following them. And there's one on the roof over there. Uh, maybe shoot him from this wagon here, or maybe that structure over there. Perfect. Yo, that oh. was a loud pop at 49 meters. I forgot how loud these are. <laughs> wow. oh, now everything is gone. <laughs> Maggie hits this one straight through the middle, resulting in a massively loud impact. And down he goes. Okay, we found something in the tree. It looks like a starling. So we're going to move around this side. Because he's over there. Doors again. There. Oh, there's one. Oh, there he goes. I think I'm here, Maggie. There's a little itch here. Ah, there he goes. But it's a pigeon as well. Okay. Awesome. Pigeons are much more easier. <laughs> Oh, nice one! Yeah. 55 meters, it just went down. It actually turns out to be a dove and Maggie makes short work of him. These impacts are still unbelievable and I get so many comments on the videos as well that that's fake, you put that in deliberately and things like that. I can assure you it is not. That is really what it sounds like and it's even worse in real life because it's so much louder than what the video can do. These cameras tend to cut out a lot of the low noises because we've got low filters and stuff on our, on our mics to keep the wind noise out. So you don't even hear the full extent of that impact of those pops. Um, in real life they're just ridiculously loud and a lot of bass to them as well. It's like a deep, deep impact sound. It's so cool. Right, so now it's my turn again. And there's a pigeon on the roof, but we need to get a better angle on him to make the shot safer. It's a bit of a walk. What sits over there? Oh, it was a starling. Yeah, he still sits there. We'll quickly take him down. Whoa. Awesome. Just love shooting starlings. That was uh, 59 meters. This starling gets the full brunt of the 26 grain and goes down in an explosion. So with that starting down, we're still going to continue with our plan and see if we can get the pigeon from this side. So we're just going to move around the corner here quickly and get him here through the trees. <laughs> down he goes, 42 meters, he made a little jump up there, right in between the shoulder blades, dead. This slug delivers a paralyzing shot straight through the neck and he goes down over the roof. Right, so we got that pigeon down. It was a bit of a walk, but it was worth it. And while we walk back, we can quickly talk about the tune on this gun. So I've got the regulator on 150 bar. The power adjuster is on 23 and the transfer port is on high. Now remember, there is a little fine adjust in here as well. I can't remember what I've put that on. I'll have to take the gun out of the stock to show you that. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture in here to show you. And yeah, that gets the javelins, the 218 26 grains at 945 feet per second. Very nice tune for this gun. So after that walk and all of those pigeons and starlings down, we are a bit thirsty, so we're going to quickly take a break, go back to the truck, get some refreshments and then continue again. So we arrived back at the truck, got some drinks, filled the gun with air and reloaded the magazines with slugs and then we headed out again. I think let's go around the corner here because there's a lot of sparrow activity mm. over there. 
So the easiest way to take down sparrows is to find an area where they're very active and then you just set up your gun for that area. So meaning set up your distance, your parallax, everything, just set it for that um, spot because they don't give you a lot of time to get the shot done. So if everything's already set, you can just put the crosses on them and shoot. So that's what we're going to do now. Maggie is setting up here and they're very active on that tower system over there. And we're just going to take them down one by one from here. Yay! Sorry, was like 50 meters. Sparrow just disintegrated. Awesome. Maggie takes the first one down with ease and was immediately ready for the next one. Whoa! Yeah. Just like that. That's <laughs> potent. From here, it was pretty easy as you can just go from shot to shot. Whoa! Another one just gone. This gun is an absolute pile driver and it's so easy to do it like this because it's just put the crosses on them and down they go. It's actually too easy but a lot of fun as well because that pop is so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy. Yo, okay, another one. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Maggie was on a roll and it wasn't easy to get her away from the gun, but finally she let me have one as well. And one for me as well. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think with that, we've got enough shots down. We're going to head back to the truck and end it off. I end the day by decapitating the sparrow and then we slowly made our way back to the truck. It was an absolutely perfect day for hunting with little to no wind and we really enjoyed ourselves. Well, that is it. We really enjoyed it. The crown performed absolutely beautifully again with the 26 grain javelins. I hope you learned more about the sport and air gunning in general. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and then we'll see you next time. Cheers.